The U.S. Justice Department charged three North Korean computer programmers with a massive cyber attack campaign aimed at stealing more than 1.3 billion U.S. dollars from banks and other targets. Washington called on China and Russia to take action and rein in Pyongyang. Yoon Jung-min has the full story. Washington will be taking into account North Korea's hacking activities when shaping its policy towards the regime, following an announcement by the Justice Department bringing charges against three North Koreans for their suspected role in major cyber attacks. The State Department said that its main concern is Pyongyang's nuclear and ballistic missile programs, but the regime's malicious cyber activity is to be considered as well. So our review of our policy to North Korea um, will take into account the totality of um, the malign activity and the threats uh, that are emanating from North Korea. The U.S. Justice Department revealed Wednesday that it has charged three North Korean hackers on several charges, including the attempted theft of more than 1.3 billion U.S. dollars worth of cash and cryptocurrency from banks and businesses. They identified all three of them, Chun Chang Hyuk, Kim Il, and Park Jin Hyuk, as members of North Korea's Reconnaissance General Bureau. The latest charges build on an earlier charge from 2018. Officials see the regime as trying to raise funds through illegal cyber activities due to the weakness of its economy and the sanctions it's under. Simply put, the regime has become a criminal syndicate with a flag, which harnesses its state resources to steal hundreds of millions of dollars. The indictment includes the cyber attack on Sony Pictures in 2014 in retaliation for a Hollywood movie which depicted a fictionalized assassination of their leader Kim Jong-un. None of the three accused North Koreans is in American custody, but U.S. officials see the indictments worthwhile even in absentia to send a message that they can be identified and implicated in crimes. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.